Well, here we are at the Troll Fashion Show. Um, as you know, I've been trying to make clothes for this huge troll. It's been really tricky because, you know, their hands and their feet are enormous. So I worked on this dress last night. It actually came out pretty good. It was not easy to make. Oh, I had a piece of satin and it raveled and raveled. I couldn't make a skirt. It unraveled and unraveled. And there were threads everywhere. So it turned out I had to hem. Let me show you the hem here. You can see that hem. It was quite hard to make. It fits fairly closely here. See that? Yeah, that's my hem. I'm very proud of it. Uh, what else? I had to make a gathered top. It's really hard to make tops for trolls, too. They don't have any chest or waist or anything. I'll try to turn this without her falling on the floor. This part was harder. You see, it's gathered. This is just a shoelace, because, you know, if you try to do ribbon, a shoelace is better because it slides easier. Um, it was open all down the back, which is not too good. So I just put a snap. The rest is open. You know how these Hollywood gowns have big slits in them? Well, that's hers. And it's held together with a snap, just so it will not be totally open, but let's just turn. Yeah. It's hard to get her all in. She's so big. I think that looks really pretty. And she's got some bling that I bought. This was a bracelet. And it works for a necklace. I've had this bow forever. It's clipped into her hair. She looks pretty nice. I don't know if the camera does her justice. Yay, Tamsin. So that's the nicest she's ever looked. Well, she, she now has two skirts, almost two tops, because I'm still making a top, and this beautiful dress. So, see, I have a sort of a wrap that she can wear. I don't really like this much. I'll put it on anyway. Yeah, kind of like a fur. I don't really have a good color for that, although I like that color. I don't know if it goes with... But you know, that sort of very pale gold and that incredible red hair she has. She has the best hair. Best hair of any troll I've ever had. Beautiful eyes. Anyway, I'm going to take that off. I don't like it that much. Mm. And she's got some serious bling. This camera doesn't want to focus. There are no earrings, so I got tired of the earrings. So, the next one I've already shown, but I'll show again, is Trollina. This was a drawstring bag, as you can see. That's all it was, sitting in my drawer, doing nothing, taking up space. So I just took it, cut it off, and hemmed it. And as you can see, it's still a drawstring bag. I tied it in the back. There's really not much you can do about those ties. They have to be there. But with all that, you know, the dark blue, I don't know what they are. Sapphires. That was common. When you handle trolls, that happens a lot. Because, for one thing, she's up on a pedestal. See, that's not the right way. I tried to alter that neck piece, which is very beautiful. It's pretty. Yeah, try to see how it sparkles. Literally, look at it. It's pretty nice. So with a drawstring bag, one ham, cut it off the right length. For some reason it came out the right length. I had to ham it. I don't like hamming things. I have to show the hem. I had to turn it twice. You know, some of my old sewing skills have come back. This is another drawstring bag. 
on one of my little dollarinas. And as you can see, I'm going to try to turn that one too. Look at how pretty. I wish I had a turntable. That's just tied at the back. That one I didn't have to hem anything because it was sort of like a, almost a mesh. I was going to put music in the background. Oh my god, I didn't. Anyway, um, yeah. And it's got a nice little, I'm going to hold this up. I think my favorite thing is doing a, uh, and she's got some hair jewelry too. She's got glass beads in her hair because that hides the bare scalp. So, you see it just flares out naturally. This, I had a piece of it left. I had to make a little different thing. I just folded it up because it's very, very sheer. So that's about four thicknesses. But it's the same fabric, and I, and I made kind of a hem. Sort of the same as her hem. Not too fancy. Uh, the beads I just thought were kind of cute. A little extra color. She's also got hair jewelry. This thing doesn't want to focus. She's got nice beads. I'll show you the back. Basically it came out almost like cardboard or something. I folded it around. And then I just tacked it. I didn't want to put a fastening on it. This is going to stay on for a while. It's basically sewn on, but you know, fashion models have their clothes sewn on. They're sewn into their dresses. Marilyn Monroe was always sewn into her dresses, which is why she looked so fabulous. And she couldn't sit down, so I don't know what happened there. But yeah, every curve, curve is accentuated. <gasps> Look at this curvaceous troll. She's very pretty. And I don't know how anyone could look down on a troll like that because it was $4.50. You know. Um, here's all the little girls here waiting to get their pedestal back. It's going to be a while because she's standing on it. Can you see? Yeah. That's a cake plate, by the way. Oh, man. This video is getting too long. But anyway, those are the four dresses that I made uh, just recently. They came out really good.